We're the ones. Last week in this video series, How to Stop Believing Your Halloween Dreams of Your Real Dreams, we talked about the first stage of behavior change, which is the pre-contemplation stage. And that means that you don't take action on your dream because you believe that it's not possible. You cannot make it happen. And we also discussed how limiting subconscious beliefs can help hate in this disbelief. What's up is Gene, this word to be great. And in this video, what I'm gonna talk to you about is how to start bringing your dream into reality. We're gonna talk about the second stage of behavior change, which is the contemplation stage. And that's when you start to believe in your dream because you've been inspired. When I was in high school, I was a very quiet student, but I was very good at getting myself in trouble. And one day I was skipping class and one of my assistant principals who liked me a lot, she walked up to me and said, Gene, why are you not in class? I said, I don't know. She said, I should send you to end school suspension. But instead of doing that, I have something else I would like for you to do. We have a motivational speaker coming next week, and I would like for you to introduce that speaker. Now, I was afraid of public speaking, but I didn't want to go to in-school suspension, so I agreed to it. Now, my assistant principal, she helped me put together an introduction speech, and I practiced it for a week. And no matter how many times I practiced it, I could not get out my mind that I was terrified of standing in front of all my classmates introducing this speaker. And on the day of the speech, I walked to the auditorium. I was practicing the introduction speech. My principal came up to me. She said, Gene, here's the speaker. And it's this tall black guy wearing a suit. He had this smile on his face. And he had this very charismatic personality. He looked at me and said, Yo, man, are you ready to introduce me? I said, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Now, and the truth is, inside of me, I was terrified out of my mind. I could hear all my classmates come in the auditorium. I can see myself failing. I can see myself embarrassing myself. And he looked at me and he said, you're gonna be all right. Just go up there and be yourself and have fun with it. So when I walked on that stage, I got up there. I felt this, this jolt of energy in my body. I felt like I was supposed to be doing that. I gave the speech from my heart. I talked off the top of my head. I talked about this great speaker. And I remember thinking to myself, man, I would love to do this one day. And when I walked off the stage, the speaker came up, I went in the audience, and this guy was so good at motivational speaking. You see, at that moment, I was inspired. I started to see myself being a motivational speaker like that man. I started to think to myself, one day I can inspire students like he is. One day I can inspire people like he inspired me. And that was the beginning of myself, seeing that it was possible that one day I could be a motivational speaker. It took many years for me to develop my confidence to become a motivational speaker. But once I developed that confidence, I went back to my high school and another student introduced me as a motivational speaker. You see, in order for you to start moving towards the contemplation stage, you must be inspired. You have to see somebody doing something that you dream of doing. You have to see yourself doing it as well. And that moves me to the next thing, and that's called visualization. You see, in order for you to start to live your dream, you have to visualize yourself living your dream. You have to see yourself accomplishing. You have to see yourself doing the very thing that's in your heart. But in order for you to do so, you have to master two parts of visualization. The first part is the external visualization. And that's when you see yourself from the audience point of view, living your dream. You see, in order for me to start to see myself as a motivational speaker, I had to see myself sitting in the audience, seeing myself on stage, being a confident motivational speaker, speaking from my heart. And that's the external visualization. That's when you see yourself from the audience point of view. Now, the other part of visualization is internal visualization. That's when you see yourself from within. You see the audience from your own eyes. You smell the popcorn, you hear the applause. That's internal visualization. And the more you start to visualize yourself living your dream from an external point of view and an internal point of view, then you start to have that contemplation that you can make that dream a reality in your life. So I want to encourage you to get up every morning for 10 minutes and visualize yourself internally living that dream. Visualize yourself externally living that dream. Visualize yourself being successful and bring that dream your heart to reality because you are worthy to be great. If you like this video, I want to ask you to like and share this video. Also hit that bell so anytime I post a video, you are alerted. Always remember that that dream inside of you is your responsibility to bring to reality. And the best way to put yourself on the path to realize your dream 
is to visualize yourself living that dream because that will move you to the contemplation stage. And next week, we're going to talk about the next stage of the behavior change model that will help you to start bringing that dream to reality through action.